guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe. In today's video, I'm showing you guys my styling routine. So I love to do wash and goes, so that's what I always do with my hair. And I have to have that product combination that will give me moisture, definition, long-lasting definition, and hold to make my wash and go look good all throughout the week because I go to school, I need to make sure my hair is done because I don't want to have my hair not done and have my hair look crazy. It does sometimes. I just need a staple wash and go routine and this is it. So if you guys would like to see my styling routine, then make sure to keep watching. To start off my styling routine, I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and I'm first going to be going in with my Ken Essentials HD Hair Growth Oil. And I'm going to be applying this oil all over my scalp and giving myself a nice scalp massage. To section my hair, I'm going to be doing a section where it's kind of around my ear height on my head and I'm going to be sectioning straight across and then I'm going to be spraying my hair with water. The two products that I'll be using today are the Mayel Moisture Butter and then the Camille Rose Curl Maker. This product combination is literally insane. For each section, what I will be doing is spraying my hair with water, making sure my hair is damp to almost soaking wet, and then I will be raking my fingers through my hair to make sure my hair is detangled. Next, I'll be taking the moisture butter, and I take a pretty generous amount, and I will rake it all throughout my hair, making sure I'm getting my ends, my roots, just everywhere. And then I'll do that to the other section as well. So the moisture butter can start to get into my hair, my hair can start to absorb it before I apply the jelly. To apply the jelly, I like to do two pumps per section, or if it's a bigger section, I'll split it in half and do two pumps for each half that I have. And I like to smooth it over my hair first and then rake it through. I find doing that gives me the best definition, and then after I rake it through and I feel like my curls are clumped enough, then I begin to scrunch up. Scrunching up helps me with my curl definition so, so much, so I highly encourage everyone to scrunch their hair. And I'll just be repeating this all throughout my hair. For this section, it is a pretty big section on half of my hair. So I did split it in half after I applied the moisture butter. And I'm just raking through the jelly and then scrunching up. This product combination just works every single time. I'm not sure what about it, but I just get moisture and definition and shine, no flakiness and no hard crunchy feeling. I have hold and I have that cast, but it's not to where my hair feels like glue at all. This product combination is perfect for my hair and I'm really impressed with it every single time. When styling, I also like to take my time. This isn't something that takes two seconds. This takes about a good 15 to 30 minutes because I want to ensure that I am moisturizing my hair. For my top section, I do this part a little differently. I have mentioned this in some of my videos, but in detail, I will split my hair down the middle for my top section and spray my hair with water until it's wet. And I will take a pretty generous amount of the moisture butter, a lot more than I would apply to other sections because the top part of my hair is the thickest. And this part had the most knots at the time for some reason. I'm not sure why, but the top of my hair always just gets so knotty for no reason. And I'm just making sure it's wet and applied the moisture butter on both sides. My hair was just so tangled, so I decided to go in with my Demon brush to brush the top part of my hair to smooth the moisture butter through my hair to make sure this moisturizing product could get all over the section because if it wouldn't, then I would have frizz and no definition. To 
to actually define my curls i'm not just raking it through normally what i will be doing is taking my demon brush and brushing my hair frontwards as if this top section were bangs in my hair i don't have bangs at all but i do struggle with flat roots because i have long hair and my hair is thick and the individual strands are pretty coarse so it's pretty heavy on my hair so i like to style my hair frontwards and then when i flip back it'll create natural volume. So I just like to section straight across the top part of my head. I start from my front part of my hair and work my way back. And I take two pumps of the Camille Rose Curl Maker and I just like to rake that through all of my sections. I also will apply water if needed. It depends on how dry my hair is, but if it's not too dry, then I won't add any water. But if my hair feels kind of damp dry, I wanna make sure I add that water. And then once I complete, I'm just going to give my hair one really good scrunch and then I'm going to flip over and here's how my hair looks. My curls are moisturized and defined and I'll show you guys how my hair looks when it's dry. This is my hair after it's completely dry. I have volume, definition, moisture. My hair looks amazing. It feels amazing. It's soft, but there is hold. So I know my hair will last. Like it's not hard or crunchy or flaky at all, but I know this hold will last in my hair, which is what I love about this product combination so much for my wash and goes. This is actually my day three hair because I wanted to show you guys after a couple of days, I get more volume and the definition is still there. And I just get an over all great wash and go I have volume everywhere and it just looks amazing I know this will last me three more days maybe even four if I need it to last that long this is my wash and go routine it always works make sure to try this out and then also sectioning with the front I mentioned how I do that differently it has helped so much with flat roots especially I feel like if you have longer hair this would help so much for you because you're not gonna style your roots downwards you're gonna style forward and then flip them back which will help to create volume and so they don't lay flat and you have like that flat weird root look i don't have that at all and my hair just looks and feels amazing every time i do that styling technique and working in sections and making sure i'm applying a moisturizing product and then a moisturizing product with hold it's just amazing and i love how it turns out if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what's a step in your styling routine or what's your favorite product in your styling routine and make sure to follow my instagram and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you guys next time bye